Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to see together three special alcohol-free cocktails. And in just a few minutes, you can replicate them, you can make them yours, you can replicate in your bar, or you can easily make them at home. My name is Domenico, and we're going to see now cocktails where alcohol is not a protagonist. In this video here, there's no alcohol at all. We will see together the chia seeds, how they can be a perfect substitute of the egg white, so you will learn how to make sour, plant-based, but we, you will also learn how to use acai, maca, maki, acerola, the superfoods in a cocktail that will be at least in the Singapore sling. And the last one, you will also see a twist on the classic Ramos Gin Fizz, but with a little secret. So stay here, stay with us, and let's start the video. dedicated because I am fully dedicated to this world of creating cocktails, ingredients, meaningful mixology, creativity taken next level, a level up. Uh, I'd like to tell you more about wine and alcoholic cocktails, especially in a moment like this where um, we have to be healthy, stay healthy, boost our immune system, but we can contribute uh, in a fantastic way by incorporating as much as we can vitamins, proteins, minerals, superfoods in our diet, so just not eating, in cocktails as well, in drinks as well. Today I'm mixing some of the other superfoods that I have in my house. You can find this superfood in Holland and Barrett. If you guys live in London, you know very well what this shop is all about. So um, organic, health ingredients, superfoods, and this, this little thing here is on the shelf. <clears throat> everywhere, in the pharmacies as well, in some of the herbal shops, whole foods, plant organic, if you live in London or if you live anywhere in the world, you can order this product through Amazon. So it's a powder that, despite of the look of the, of the bag, it's not as green as you would imagine when you open it from just looking at the packet. So this product is grassy herbal, it comes from the plant of obviously the wheat, for the Italians, wheat is gram. One of nature's most prized plants, our wheatgrass is grown outdoor, that's what they write on their package, where natural sunlight and rich fertile soil promote the assimilation of nutrients in the developing shoots. It is harvested when nutrients levels reach their peak. As I am not a nutritionist and I am not a doctor, but I would love to uh, study more, I'm not going to tell you too much in detail about this, I'm just going to focus about reading this little piece of text that they write here on the package. This sweet green powder is a rich source of iron, copper and zinc. Bear that in mind, copper and zinc, zinc and copper. Okay? Bringing with vitamin E, calcium, high protein and fiber. So you know what fiber, fiber does, fiber helps you digest. This is real fact. So, and about vitamin E and calcium. Calcium, as far as I know, it helps to strengthen your, your bones. <laughs> okay, rock glass. I think this cocktail will come perfect if we play with a rock glass and a chunk of ice. Now, lemon juice 15 milliliters. So in this wheatgrass phase, we have to use 15 milliliters of lemon juice, 25 milliliters of coconut cream, one teaspoon of wheatgrass powder, that guy over there, 10 milliliters of soya cream, so a little bit creamy, 10 milliliters of mango and dates cordial. 45 milliliters of coconut water. Did I say coconut water already? Coconut water. If I didn't say that, I'm gonna tell you again. 25 milliliters. Wow. Half lemon of a medium size just gives you 25 milliliters. Wow. One teaspoon of wheatgrass powder. So the flavor of the wheatgrass, you can use it in a smoothie, you can use it in a yogurt, in a, in a fruit bowl. It's just grassy, herbal, and it gives a natural color, a natural color, but it's not really going to change much the flavor of the cocktail. If you use it just like this, just a spoon. Wheatgrass powder. 
gas, jump down. Open that frame. A little squeeze. Up. So yeah, cream. I started creating this cockpit yesterday. I started thinking about this cockpit. So I wanted to make something similar to a Ramos Vision Feet. A beautiful long range cockpit that has cream inside and has a beautiful cap on top while you put soda on top of it. So let's make something with cream, with splash, 15 milliliters more or less, coconut water and mango and dates cordial. So in this case, guys, consider that this cocktail already has one, two, three, four, uh, five different superfoods. So the message here is making cocktails with great ingredients and obviously with an eye and health. Coconut water, we're gonna go through coconut water later to tell you more about it. It's one of the superfoods in this drink, but there's also lemon juice rich in vitamin C and antioxidants. Make sure that you don't get old too fast. Drink as much as lemon juice as you can. Mango and dates cordial, it's something that I prepared a few days ago. But still here, we don't like to waste anything, even though syrups can stay up to a month if refrigerated. Pack of dry mangoes and a pack of dry dates. So superfoods more and more and more. You see, created a cordial, uh, less sugar than a syrup, so quick stir. And so yeah, I don't just don't like to create every day a different homemade. So if you guys were preparing this syrup yesterday, you can use it today as well and tomorrow as well. So again, we've got wheat grass, lemon juice, coconut cream. Got it. Coconut water. We've got it. Soya cream. A little bit of plant-based alternative to the classic double cream and mango and dates cordial. So the cocktail seems to be almost almost ready. Well, time to shake. It's good to shake this cocktail because obviously it's dense, it's thick, good texture and I like this movement. that everything was shut, windows are closed, <laughs> the doors are closed, everything's closed, there's no one around, complete okay. silence, just someone uh, just rang the door, I hope it won't be too long. Amazon. Amazon. Oh gosh. No, I don't believe this is happening. <laughs> Topped up with tamarind tonic, another alternative to the classic soda water of lemonade, <laughs> it's the tamarind tonic from Franklin's and Sons. Don't drink sparkling, creamy, grassy, beautiful. Layer already there, but I don't like seeing layer. Right, garnish in this drink, I thought cornflower and mint. Once again, nothing is too complicated here, everything can be done by basically anyone who's watching. So you, my point was, you can recreate these cocktails. Anywhere in, London, anywhere in the world, in London, in Malaysia, in UK, in Italy. So garnish is something that you can find in the grocery shops or if there's still something in the grocery shop or from the best suppliers if you work in the best bars or if you just have your small pieces, just go grab those ingredients in the local shop and suppliers. But as a touch of uh, improved creativity, as I like to call it, Corn flour. These blue petals of corn flowers, um, they come from a spice shop in London, in the area of Notting Hill. Just contrast of color. But you can find this through Amazon as well. So thank God Amazon is supplying us with some of the uh, unknown ingredients, unknown spices, uh, some of the less common and less usual ingredients. Time to taste it. I've got some plastic free straws. Stainless steel straw. Time to taste this cocktail. Obviously, if I put my nose next to the mint, it smells of mint. It also smells of flour. The dry corn flour and the mint, they play very well together. 
the color is clear, slightly greenish. Beautiful, beautiful. So plant-based, there's no dairy here, no, no dairy here, plant-based soya cream is this one. So from Alpro, single soya, you can use it on strawberries, on ice creams, on salads, in cocktails, and in the savory dishes. One teaspoon of wheatgrass powder, 15 milliliters of lemon juice, half lemon as I like to hand squeeze it, coconut cream, that boy over there, 45 milliliters of coconut water, in your shop, in your grocery shop, on uh, sells coconut water. You can just go and take those beautiful fresh coconut, chop the coconut, get the fresh water, and use the fresh water for this cocktail. It's beautiful. 10 milliliters of mango and date cordial. It's simply obtained by mango, uh, dehydrated mango and dehydrated dates. Put together, uh, reduced to a cordial, 500 grams of sugar, one liter of water, and a good kilo of dates, and a, and a couple of bags, if I remember, 250 grams of dry mango. Boil it together until it comes to a simmer, and then slowly, slowly add the sugar, quick stir it, and you've got your mango and dates cordial reduced in sugar, because it's not a syrup, it's reduced in sugar, so it's, it's a cordial, and it's packed with proteins and vitamins from the mango and the dates, superfood. Soya cream, plant-based alternative to the classic double cream. Okay. So, uh, jumping on the second cocktail, I, I wanted to call this cocktail Pretty Cool Sling. I love Singapore, I love Singapore Sling. I had the pleasure to be two times at the Raffle Hotel. And this cocktail it will be served, will be served in the Hurricane Glass. In the glass. The typical Hurricane Glass. In the glass. Also known as Sling Glass. The typical cocktail of the uh, the typical glass of tiki drinks, the typical glass of slings as well. This comes long drink, full of ice, uh, acai powder, merlot juice, which is this little boy here, merlot juice. Wonderful alternative to wine for kids, little tips. Alternative to wine or uh, can be just considered as a premium, super premium juice of grape. So merlot grape juice. Uh, again, forever beautiful, which is this thing over here, a mix of acai, chia seeds, maki, maca and acerola. Superfoods, antioxidants, uh, vitamin C, again, high boric value, oxygen radicals, absorbent uh, capacity, good for your blood, good for your veins, good to stay young forever, as they say, forever beautiful. Voila, wonderful. Coconut cream and lime juice. Coconut cream. Sweetness, lime juice, citrus bar. Once again, there's not a big variety of ingredients out there, so I'm squeezing all I have, and it's a good tip for you to understand more recipes and how to mix well the ingredients. Everything makes sense when you want to reduce your waste, when you want to reduce uh, the amount of things that you buy and then you want to reset, especially in a moment of shortage like this time here. We shouldn't buy unnecessary things out there. We shouldn't buy what we don't need and especially we have to avoid, now more than ever, we have to avoid waste, right? So the pretty cool sling in this glass, I'm going to fill it with ice cubes and the ingredients. Slowly, slowly, I will explain each of them. Shake it. Watermelon coming from the kitchen. Marcello, thank you very much for bringing watermelon. No, I don't, don't, don't throw at me. Watermelon, melon juice for a beautiful mix. Lime juice. Dark purple color. Thank you once again, Yarek, my very good friend who brought this yesterday. And we try some cocktails together. Good splash of coconut cream. Watermelon juice, 45 milliliters. Beautiful 
mix, which is a mix once again of acetylene powder, manka powder, chili seeds, cerola, spoon and a half, the mellow juice. And then we add jus de degustation, a wonderful French product. I've been using this product in the past, also in some of the bars I was working before. The mango juice is one of many of those wonderful juices that they have in their selection. I also tried the banana juice that was absolutely astonishing. As we used to do in the 90s, Olen. Now, I said many times this is not a professional bar. Not spending so much of our budget in buying fancy. This is exactly the same thing that you all have in the house. A pasta pan. And it's my ice boulet, it's my ice cup where I take obviously with my risotto scoop in the cup where I pour my pasta, obviously washed, that's a disclaimer this is the place where I take fresh rice Bellissimo Now, we either decide to chop some of the flowers from Marcella's orchid but I already took two of the flowers and I don't want to hear complaints from her so Leave the orchid up there. I'm not going to use the orchid today as a garnish. I will today enhance the color of health with some candy cane, sugar, flowers. Now, instead of ruining Marcella's plant, <laughs> I went to Tesco this morning and I've got these wonderful, lovely sugar flowers. Those usual flowers that you use for cupcakes or for cakes. The sugar flowers, daisy flowers made by the sugar. I think this cocktail looks cool enough. I forgot to put the straw inside, just remember to put the straws before you put the crushed ice. Because now, if I put the straw here, everything is gonna fall in pieces. <laughs> Third cocktail. So, we've been through a wheat grass piece, we've been through a pretty cool sling, two superfood cocktails. Uh, I'm gonna play an experiment now. I was reading on my, my on my favorite book about cooking with superfoods. I was reading the page where they mentioned uh, chia seeds. So chia seeds, apparently, uh, they work as an egg substitute. So calculate one tablespoon of chia seeds and dilute with six times water in a jar, so they can be considered as a substitute of egg white when you want to create something that's foamy. So, for example, uh, baking cakes or making sour cocktails. And guess what? Next cocktail will be a sour. And instead of using the classic egg white as a plant based alternative, you can go for the aquafaba. A little bit more famous if you guys don't know the aquafaba. It's the, that water that stays in the can of the chickpeas and of the beans. So, aquafaba is beans and chickpeas water. That water extracts all the proteins and the, and the fibers from the chickpeas or from the beans and if you take that water and you put it in a cocktail it has no flavor it will enhance the, the frothy and the foamy effect in your cocktail and all the, the other preparations that you usually uh, consider using egg whites if you're vegan, if you go for plant-based diet that's the way to go aquafaba or I'm trying for the first time using the chia seeds in a sour. So they say that you have to soak chia seeds and use plus chia seeds gel. Um, so one spoon or two spoons of this, depending on the size of your glass, you can use this gel of chia seeds and water instead of the egg white. I've never tried this before. The book says that you have to muddle them and to reduce them to a kind of a dust. You need one of those small grinders, those spicy grinders. 
I don't want to use alcohol. I'm going to present you a sour that is based on peppercorn syrup that I've made before, white peppercorn syrup, pineapple juice, fresh pineapple, lemon juice, super greens, chia gel, and topped out with almond and pineapple mix it from Franklin's and Sons. Let's do the experiment, let's try and see how it works. Fresh pineapple juice, almond and one mixer from Franklin's and Sons, and peppercorn syrup. Well, one liter of water, one kilo of sugar, one to one syrup, white peppercorn. White peppercorn costs one pound and fifty. A bag of I think fifty grams from Tiger costs around one or two pounds. So available everywhere. If you don't have any white peppercorns, you can try with the pink peppercorn. Slightly different. The pink peppercorn is more zingy, zesty. Yes, they are spicy, but they're very floral. They are aromatic. Just remind you of that ethnic cuisine like Mexican or Thai as well. However, the white peppercorn gives you that idea of smoky uh, thing. This was apple and white peppercorn. So I've just added some apples that I had in my fridge. And as I like to say all the time, we don't waste anything. So when you see that your fruit is getting there, almost done, they're ripe, you don't want to eat them, just, just make a cordial mint syrup or infuse it in, in something. Um, and then you can keep the shelf life longer for uh, a few more days and incorporate in the cocktail. Why not? Vintage coupette. <coughs> Shaker. <coughs> Chia seeds. Let's start from the protagonist. Ah, do you want to see it? One, one spoon. Let's do it. Lemon usually is 30 milliliters, so a decent size gives you 30 milliliters of juice. Just here. Fresh pineapple. So we make sure to have a beautiful color, yellow, yellow classic color as a as a normal like what well, as a normal whiskey sour so but this time will be no alcoholic why don't we use some super green super green super green a mix of spirulina chlorella carnicale not too green in color mm -hmm. so not too much because I don't want to alter the color of this I want to change it oh. Have to break the protein of the chia seeds, and we want to aerate our cotton before what shaking with ice cubes. I see it is coming. I see the foam, that's all we want. Part of the foam comes from the chia seeds, part of the foam comes from the pineapple juice, that also are ingredients that were foamy as well. So when you, when you shake pineapple juice, the sugar, the fibers of the pineapple will always give you a little foam. But I think that the chia seeds, as we said at the beginning, the chia seeds, as we said at the beginning, they are playing the role as a thickener and as a gel. Uh, the book was mentioning to grind seeds in a dust, but we still have a beautiful foam. So the foam is more here than there. This is because all the chia seeds that I couldn't grind, but I just muddled, they stuck in the, in the filter. They are stuck still here in the strainer, mm. but they will, they will be in the glass. I mean, that this foam will be in the glass. So the experiment has worked. This is my cocktail for you all with chia seeds, with another flower, 
inside made by sugar. I hope we had fun. I hope my cocktails will inspire you. Just enjoy this cocktail, make it yours, make it at home. Take it back to your bar and just suggest it and recommend it to your bar team. Try that together, taste it together. I'm gonna have a taste. It's, it's slightly smoky, a bit sour. You don't have that, that aggressive backbone of the whiskey or, or rum when you or pisco when you do the classic alcoholic sours. I hope you have fun getting this cocktail. This is lovely. See you soon.